Hi, and welcome to the Invasive Albopictus Project. Thank you so much for agreeing to help us with our research. Today, I will be explaining how to make the trap that you will be building to catch the Asian tiger mosquito. First, let's gather your supplies. You will need two clear 2-liter two soda bottles, one black trash bag, a pair of scissors, a few paper towels, a roll of clear packing tape, some tweezers, a handful of paper clips, a razor, and pet food. The pet food can be dog, cat, or fish food. To start, remove the labels from your bottles. You will need to make a cut approximately half an inch to one inch below the tapered portion of the bottle. Feel free to make a line with a sharpie to guide you or move on and cut both bottles with a razor. Remove the caps and discard them. Be sure to dry both bottles completely. You will be using one top portion and both bottom portions for the final trap. We will start by making the egg trap. This is the first part that you will leave in your yard. You will be collecting eggs in this portion for a few days before adding the remainder of the trap. Cut a piece of black garbage bag so that it is wide enough to wrap easily around the bottle and tall enough that it is roughly twice the height of the bottle. Secure the plastic to the bottle with tape leaving the excess bag above the bottle. Fold the excess down. This portion of the garbage bag will be lifted up later in the process. Place a paper towel inside the upper rim of the bottle and secure with paper clips. This paper towel will need to be easily removed later. That is your egg trap completed until you are ready to put it out. Next, we will make the top of the trap. This portion will be used when your eggs have hatched and the larvae are getting ready to become adults. To create the top of the trap, you will take one top portion and place it inside the remaining bottom portion. Tape around the edge to create a solid seal. We do not want adults to escape the trap. It is important to note that none of the adults in your trap will be infected with any viruses because you have hatched them from eggs. They have not had the opportunity to bite anything and pick up a pathogen. Poke some very small holes around the top chamber to allow some air to enter. We are using extremely fine tweezers. You can use the point on your razor if it works better than your tweezers at home. When it is time to set your egg trap out, Fill it with water up to around halfway up the paper towel. The entire towel will end up wet. Add a couple of crushed up food pellets. The Asian tiger mosquito likes to lay eggs on a soft, wet substance in a dark container. Adding food will signal to her that this container will have enough nutrition to feed her young. You have created a trap that meets all of those criteria. Place the trap in a covered shaded location in your yard. We do not want the trap to overfill with rainwater. Good locations include under the eaves of the house, under a picnic table, or chair. Once your trap has been left out for a few days, you can check it for eggs. The eggs are small, oblong, and black in color. You should see them sprinkled above the water line on the paper towel. Let these eggs sit for two to three days in a safe location outdoors. Try to keep them away from ants who will destroy the eggs. After the eggs have sat, 
go ahead and carefully empty the water. The water can be safely disposed of outdoors in the dirt or grass where any eggs that get dumped with the water will be unable to survive. Allow the eggs to dry overnight for no more than 12 hours. The drying time is important for the development of the eggs. The paper should be relatively dry to the touch, but not so dry that it is stiff. Now it is time to hatch the mosquitoes that you have caught. Remove the clips and push the paper towel down into the bottom of the trap and fill with enough water to comfortably cover the towel. Add a couple more crushed food pellets. After a couple of days, you should be able to see the larvae swimming in the bottom of the trap. Over the next few days, they will get larger and eventually pupate. In the video, you can see both. The larvae are long and worm-like, and the pupae are dark in color and round from the top. Once you have larvae, it is time to put the top of the trap on. If you see pupae, you will have adult mosquitoes very soon. Make a small cut to the bottom of the top portion so that you can fit it snugly inside of the bottom portion. Pull the black bag down slightly and secure the top to the bottom with tape around the perimeter. Pull the plastic bag up to where the top of the funnel ends. The darkness in the trap will encourage the adult mosquitoes to fly up into the top portion. Leave the trap for a few days in a warm environment to allow as many adults to emerge as possible. When you are ready to look at your adult mosquitoes, place the entire trap into a freezer overnight. No mosquitoes will survive the night in the freezer, allowing you to examine them and prevent adding mosquitoes to your yard. Cut open the top of your trap using either a razor or scissors and dump the adults onto a paper towel or tissue. Use your tweezers to sort through the mosquitoes that you have. 